Mantis or Crystal B, I'll be honest. I, you know, we did try to do some Mantis B, and I think we got kind of wrecked with the Mantis B. That's where the RNG kind of wrecked us a bit. A bit. Let's do Crystal B. Crystal B is... It's probably... Better than Mantis B. Actually, it's, it definitely is. Even though I love I love the Mantis B, I think this ship's better just because the crystal special ability, being able to lock down the room is so strong, and the fact that they um, make it board, uh, excuse me, automated scouts without dying because they're half damage from no O2. Boarding is so fun, and also this ship starts with cloaking. As much as I love the um, Mantis B's two shields and defense drone. I feel like cloaking is just stronger. Because this is like an end game system, whereas defense drone is not as good as cloaking end game. Use the doors, Ram. What's up, bye boy? If the doors can help me wake up, you know, maybe I will. <laughs> oh gosh, like my eyes have been killing me lately. I don't know what it is. Irritated eyes and tiredness. Oh, maybe it's allergies. It's probably the fact that every single day in Texas, like, people keep posting the uh, weather forecast, and it's, like, 100 degrees every single day. Over 100 degrees. It's, like, 104, 105. It was 109 the day I did the opera. Like, I checked my phone, and it said 109 degrees outside. So, Crystal B is definitely god tier, yes. I would say probably the only ship that's probably better is Lanius B. Uh, just because it has the advanced flak. This doesn't start with a weapon, so this does have weakness. It has no weapon. Has a bit of everything right from the start. Yeah, well, the thing that's great about it is it's four-man boarding and two crystals is insane. Basically, the only thing that you can't kill... Uh, it doesn't have clone bay. So it's kind of like the Mantis Beating that you can't kill auto scouts without dying yourself or taking damage and using Crystal Vengeance to kill them, which is not reliable. But auto scouts and Zoltan shield ships you can't kill me because you got no weapons. Oh, excuse me, God. 69 degrees for you, that is very nice. That is very nice. I don't know why it's been over 100 degrees every day in Texas, but it's just middle of July, so end of July. Um, so let's do the crystal B. Plan is get second shield and then find a weapon. That's our main goal. Uh, the good thing about this ship is you don't really need other offense, you just run away from ships you can't kill. You have clone bay that makes it pretty easy the but the main issue is no weapons so getting second shield and a weapon is kind of our first goals on this ship because starting off with no weapon kind of sucks but you have amazing offense in your uh and your crystal crew excuse me 65 here well Renos, at least you got that over over me <laughs> much better temperature Trade temps is 77 degrees, and we just had a thunderstorm. I would love to trade temperatures. Why would you trade away 77 degrees? I mean, sure, thunderstorm is not the best, but people in Texas love a thunderstorm right now just to cool it off from over 100 every day. Uh, I could lose crew there. We're not chancing it. Although it's the first jump, I could chance to just restart it. It's fine. That's a special one? Like a special run? No, we're just... Um, we are just... I didn't lock down. We we're just going for no pause hard mode, mode, mode runs. That's what we're going for. Okay, it's fine. We still have more health than them. We're still somehow losing this. Oh, crap. I'm cloaking for this one. Okay. Uh, because I didn't... I'm so out of it right now. Oh, crap. Okay, we're restarting. Jesus. I, I wasn't prepared to use my special ability. God damn it. I tell you, my brain is just fried. Oh, god damn it. Okay, who is... So, pilot's there. You're there. P. My special ability is P, right? It won't tell me the... It won't tell me the goddamn button for it until it's actually available. Oh my god, my brain. Okay, so I think P is the button I pressed to get it. Oh, Jesus, I was afraid of this. It's like I'm gonna play this game that's super ridiculous and difficult and my brain just not gonna be able to handle it because I'm so tired right now. Okay, uh, they have boarding. 
Okay, well, we locked one guy in, but he's not fighting us, so that's good. Orange Jesus hated you hardcore there, and you weren't prepared for it. Okay, we're gonna win this fight at least. Oh my god. Could not put out a fire faster than it. Freaking hell, man. Seriously, one fire put out two places faster than this rot. This crystal dude could put out the fire. What? Uh, what, a, what a shitty start to the day. Okay, go finish this dumbass. Oh my god. Why can't you put out a goddamn fire? What the hell? How could a crystal guy not put out a fire faster than it spread twice? Frickin' twice. Jesus. Oh god. Well we got a we got a free mantis, which is amazing, so. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Alright, well, let's hope I can wake up and my brain will start working. Or just RNGs will be nice. One of those two. You know? Is there, there a whole saying, if you can't get good, get lucky? Well, that's what I'm going to hope for. I'm going to try to hope for some luck. <laughs> try to get lucky. I stay up all night to get lucky. Till touch me in my no-no place. Yes. Uh, have you talked to Gunker? Was it Gunker that always said that all the time? Don't get mad with the RNG, get even. There you go. That's a good saying, too. All right, we got a map. Cool. Now I have to fight that guy. Ooh. Okay. Pretty good uh, bunch of ships. Let's hope that there's not a bunch of Zoltan shields around, because that's probably what we'll get screwed by. What's up? How are you doing, pie boy? Now we're gonna cloak the first shot. Keep this locked just a little bit longer, so we can just get one weapon offline. There we go. What's up, Matan? How are you doing, M M Matan? Let's get the mantis, the training. Well, I guess I'll eventually want all of them to have training, but... Alright, go heal, my mine friends. How are you doing, Matan2012? Um, speaking of Rand11 Baker, I was talking about doing a cookie baking stream sometime during July, and we only have this week left, so I'm thinking Friday. I'm thinking Friday. I'm going to try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... So I'm not gonna get all that. I think I'm gonna try to do a baking stream, and maybe Pie Boy UK can help, since you're an actual chef. <laughs> um, maybe you can help me get the best out of my cookie baking attempt. My plan is to get like pre-made dough and make my own, and make like gluten-free for one. And then the pre-made, like, compare the, t the two. It's my plan. Just recently found your FTL videos on YouTube and went ahead to follow. Awesome, Matan. Well, welcome. We've had a lot of people join us from the, FT uh, from the YouTube channel. Welcome to the stream, my friend. You're about the only person I know that probably want to extend their code a letter instead of simplifying it once they get partner. Wait, what? The only person I know that would probably want to extend their code a letter... Once I get partner, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if you misspelled a word or I just don't understand the sentence. We like the content. Spend a few hours watching some videos. Awesome, Matan. Well, um, I hope you will enjoy enough to keep hanging out. If nothing else, I'll continue to upload my videos to YouTube, so you can always, always check us out there if you're not able to catch the stream, which a lot of people can't. Uh, oh, you're saying to change... Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I see what you're saying. I didn't cloak there. Yeah. Well, for par for affiliates, you don't get to choose what the code is for your for your emotes, which I think is pretty stupid. I don't understand why that's the way it works. Um, I mean, to force it to be an exact length seems like a just lazy on the part of Twitch. So I I don't understand that. So. I didn't know what you meant by code. You meant... I needed the word emote in that sentence for me to know what you were talking about, Brian. <laughs> you, you didn't say the code for my emote. You just said their code. So I got to know what code you're talking about. But now I understand. Uh, I had the awesome double glabian one last week. Yes, that was very good. Um, and I feel like I used up all my RNG on that one run. I feel like I had all my RNG used up that one run, so... You're waking up too? Man, it's the waking up club today, apparently. There's <laughs> freaking everybody's asleep. At least you and me both, man. You and me both. Oh, there's doors here. Okay. Let's let's 2v3 it. It's Monday. What can you say? It's like somebody's got the case of the Mondays. Ow, man. Oh, man. Somebody beat your ass if they said that where I work. Uh, bad sleeping at the moment. What's weird to me is I've been getting plenty of sleep, but I keep waking up in my REM, I think. Because I always wake up and I'm like, like yesterday I woke up and I swear I was dreaming about some video game with gnomes digging under the, digging out from underneath the castle and coming out to the surface and there's a bunch of, I don't know, scary humans that they run into. I don't know. I had some weird dream last night. And I, like, woke up in the middle of it. And I'm just like, what the hell? One, two, three, four. Played too many video games if I'm dreaming about video games or something. I don't know. This morning I woke up. I don't know what I, w what I was dreaming. Probably some sexy dream or something. <laughs> I've been too single too long or something. I don't know, man. There's mind control, but... I feel like what we want to get is hacking, because we have hacking, teleport, cloaking for the kill all crew strat, so that's probably what we wouldn't go for. Uh, I don't even think I need to do that. So I could just get backup better here. Dreaming about gnomes. I don't know. I haven't had weird dreams lately. Small bomb's great. It's a great thing to take out heal bays and stuff. Let's do that. Um, selling Crystal Vengeance, by the way, on this ship is always really nice because it's a really great early free scrap. I don't even recall my dreams anymore. I haven't for the longest time. Well, just wake up at the right time. Wake up during your dream. That's what does it for me. And, of course, it's Zoltan Shield. So, I can't do anything to this guy. Oh, he's got mind control. Great. Uh, you go be on dodges. Be on shields. My first Zoltan shield ship I fight. And he's got freaking insane offense. This is an insane ship for Sector 1 right here. And my small bomb. It's like the only ship that my small bomb doesn't really help us with. Oh my god. Really? A single laser shot. Double fire my goddamn weapons. Jesus Christ game. Seriously. Well, so much for RNG helping us out today. God damn. Freaking hell, man. A single laser shot. Double fire my goddamn piloting when all I want to do is run away right now. Ugh. Now we have cloaking for the next volley at least. Get us the hell out, man. FTL is mad with me? Apparently so. Well, you know what? The feeling's mutual, okay? Um, I can't kill the ship without killing my crew. So, great. But he can't do any damage to us either. Even with... One of the most BS things in this entire game is Sector 1... Um, 
free stuff that they have. Zoltan Shield, free hacking on your shields in Sector 1 pisses me the hell off. I think this is one of the biggest crocks of BS in the entire game. For them to, if, I, if I didn't have second shield for this ship, I think this would kill every ship in the game without second shield. Double beam weapons and they get a free hack on your shields. That is, that is just absolute BS. I don't think that should be in the damn game. So. I mean, could I kill them with small bomb? No, because small bomb would kill a system but do, doesn't do whole damage. So I can't actually kill these guys. That was just two BS run, uh, BS ships in a row right there. Heinously cheating, yes. That is exactly what it is. Heinously cheating. Alright, here's a fight I can do. Oh god, they do have three dudes. Oh. Um... I don't want to do this, so just swap these guys around. I think one of you is actually going to heal. Holy crap, they hit me right as I came back. I don't need to use a small bomb here. I do need to repair this, though. Alright, they're not using their weapons smartly here. Okay, there we go. They finally used their weapons correctly. I actually explained why you were never able to get good runs, to be honest. Well, if you're playing on easy, you wouldn't run into that. I don't think. Uh, maybe you... Do you run into the shield hack on easy? I don't know. I always recommend new players to start this game on easy because... Oh, that's a free Angie. That's so good. Okay. Getting this free crew we got is so amazing. Anyway, uh, what I was saying was... I always recommend new players start on easy because this game is so punishing. Easy, I don't think that would happen. It doesn't mean the game easy on easy, but... It's definitely more doable on easy. We have four-man boarding crew at the end of Sector 1 with second shield. That's pretty darn good. And a small bomb. Pretty sure you have gotten that on easy mode. Okay, maybe that will happen. When you read my username out loud, I realized what horrible mistake you did when you put 2012 in your name. Usually people put the birth year. Two years people will think you're seven. <laughs> that's it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I wish your channel would have been around when I was first playing F2 years ago. You probably wouldn't have abandoned it so quickly. It looks be frustrating if you don't know the nuances. Yeah. Well... That's kind of why I'm doing this How to Win series. I kind of like talk about my strategies as I do them. All right, I'm going to get one power so we can have the weapon online. Kind of give tips for, you know, people who are new to the game. Um, civilian sector is good if you want stores, but I actually just want scrap right now. So I'm going to go to the Mantis controlled sector first and then probably go to the green sectors. With four crew, Mantis sectors are the opposite of scary. So... And there's immediately a store when I don't want a store, so. Same as your Dark Dungeon, but that is more of a matter of keeping at it and learning from experience in FTL. Uh, I feel like they're both kind of like that. Alright, two guys in there. Okay, and uh, when the next guy comes in here, we lock him in. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Get healed as we wait for the fire. See, cloaking doesn't do anything against the fires, but I sometimes do it just because it makes me feel better, like I'm doing something. <laughs> well, actually, we don't need to do that. I wish cloaking would actually protect you from the sun flare, solar flares. It wouldn't make sense, but it also doesn't make sense that cloaking makes you dodge asteroids. So, you know. Do, do, do. Let's get out of here. We only took one damage from that. It's not too bad. You always start on normal, scoffing it easy. Yeah. Yeah. There are games where you can do that. And you can do that in this game. It's just not the right approach. This game is too punishing for that. It's like Dark Souls 
you know. Dark Souls, you don't just start on the hardest difficulty. I mean, you do, and you just die over and over, and then you quit the game. So, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend an FDL. By the way, what do you think about their new game, Into the Breach? Oh, it's super fun. I definitely liked it. I like strategy games, and I liked it a lot. My main issue is that with that game is it just doesn't have the same replayability as FTL. So I, I 100% of the game. And until they put out an advanced edition, I don't really feel a need to go back to it. Um, the randomness being in maps and crew... Uh, uh, what is it called in that game? Squad setups isn't enough variety to keep it coming back, at least not for me. So it's a great game, but not as... Uh, not as much a variety as FTL. Marge, imagine starting Dark Souls on New Game. Dark Souls on New Game plus six with a character with no stuff. Sounds pretty bad. Okay, we're gonna let everybody in here. Oh, there's only two of you. Okay, so we're sending one of you to the clone bay. I shouldn't even have to use my small bomb here. Uh, you don't take more than what you can chew. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yes. I, I guess that's what I'm saying. I'm saying when you start a new game, if it's a game made to be difficult, you don't start on higher difficulties. I mean, unless you like punishment. And there are people out there who are like that. Like, there are people who play FTL Captain's Edition because this game is not punishing enough. <laughs> and it just blows my mind because this game is punishing enough. Really, really punishing. But it's also fun, so. Oh, there's a breach, too? Okay, well, we don't actually want just bombs here. I think I'm just going to get the hacking here, since there's no weapon I just love by the hacking, and we have our boss set up. So, one of the strategies we've learned from people in chat telling us about, telling us is with cloaking, hacking, and teleporter... You can kill the boss and all this crew except for one on phase one without taking any missile shots. And that kind of sets you up for a much easier phase two and three. So, we still haven't got a weapon other than small bomb, which kind of sucks. So it means I still can't kill auto scouts. But we have our end, guy, end, end game system set up, so that's nice. Everything would be 300% health, 100% attack. That'd be insanity. Oh, man. Giant and spiders. No, we're not doing that. You play quite a few games. We're getting lucky is the only way you can win because of how hard it is. Yeah. You got in this game a little while ago, and I just yesterday got the Stealth Cruiser on layout A. S stealth A is one of the best ships in the game. It's super good. If I go to the stress, I lose out on a jump, so we're going to skip it. Never been able to beat the boss on normal. Yeah, play on easy till you get a win. I, I definitely recommend doing that. Go kill two dudes. Oh my god. Okay, the missile should fire before he does his thing at least. Okay. Alright, we killed this crew so fast. Oh, a second small bomb. Okay. Luckily we were able to cloak... And uh, only took that breach there. A second small bomb. Well, kind of wish I hadn't bought that small bomb now. Because I haven't even used it yet, I don't think, to take anything. Except I just took out their weapons once. So I guess it's... Okay, well. I mean, small bombs are great. Two small bombs, useless. Because I don't have nearly enough missiles to support that. Um... You can't do it. Well, Matan, hopefully watching these How to Win videos can give you a tip on how to uh, beat the boss. Because there's a lot of just little things you can do on the boss to give you um, better chances of survival and wins. Having the right weapon set up, having a good uh, defense plan, all that good stuff. One, two, three, four. So, bomb only win. Um, I'd have to have clone bay for that to work, to be possible. Oh, you're already... Holy crap, I got a max trained mantis really fast. Max trained fighting mantis. That was really fast. 
Cool. Oh, you beat the boss on easy pretty easily, but normally it's like 10 times harder. Yeah. Tips get good. <laughs> get good RNG. That's your tips right there. Still find it super cool to watch how you play. Well, that's great. Well, and you know, the more you watch, the more you play, the more you kind of, I would say, streamline your strategy. So um, you'll eventually get there on normal. It just takes practice. It's just like any game. You got to do it a lot. You got to play a lot. You gotta you gotta play a lot to learn how to get good RNG, you know. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll fight your entire crew, I guess. Don't need a small bomb. Poke that. Good. Okay, nice. Only need one shield, so we can do that. Get our guys healed. Uh, best tip. Learn to get good RNG. <laughs> I'm still trying to get there, you know. That's a, that's the toughest strategy to learn. Daily golden cap, uh, there's a golden pepo dance? Oh, God. Oh, God. Hack my weapons? Okay, it's fine. We're gonna cloak the ion, because I think that's the scariest thing he has. We actually could kill this guy. If I small bomb his shields, I could kill this guy. Because we're in an asteroid field, that's the only reason this actually has a chance. Of course, my weapons are hacked, so it's going to take a year and a day for that to happen. Ouch. Come on, please don't get doged. Perfect. Um, I shouldn't have eye on that, or, yeah, whatever. Okay. There we go. Okay, that hurts. I don't want to use another small bomb. Alright, we're safe now. Got him. Thanks, Asteroid Field. You're my best weapon, Asteroid Field. Um, you also tried the advanced AE content once, died instantly. Jokely started a new run called the Death Bound. <laughs> the Death Bound survived. It was epic. Nice. I prefer advanced edition because I like the new systems and stuff. But yeah, enemies having those systems does make that more difficult, I would say. No golden kappa, no golden pepo dance. I, that's crazy. Um, one drum part for seven fuel? God, all right. We're going to be flush on fuel for a while. NG Homeworld. Let's go play with some NGs. All right, I need an actual laser weapon so I can do damage. Chat dad right as you're in. Kenny, you always scare everybody away. Your, your pepos. 15 for doors? Sure. We'll do it. You're the chat killer. AAA is awesome, yeah. Hail them. Big giant missile, okay. It's fine, we're gonna let, we want everybody coming here quickly. We need to kill you quickly. All right, good. <laughs> kill them before they can do damage to us. Before they even get a shot off. Still feel obligated to unlock all ships on normal edition before you move to AE. Yeah, yeah. If that's your completionist uh, view on what you need to do, you do what you need to do. <laughs> all right, what do we got? Hey, it's not an auto scout. Okay. I'm gonna small bomb his weapons. Cloak his small bomb. Okay, never mind. Never mind, we don't have to cloak anything. <laughs> oh, God. Mantis with three crystal dudes. Could I ask for a better boarding party? Eh, two mantis and two crystal dudes. Kill even faster, but... 
four-man boarding. This is why I love four-man boarding so much. It's just so oppressively strong against anything that's not an auto scout or a guy with a Zoltan shield. So, how do you call a man that knows you but he is not your friend? Uh, yeah, acquaintance. Um, a colleague could be one. A colleague. Do this so we can. Take out weapons to guarantee he doesn't get a shot off. A couple different words for that, I'd say. With a couple different connotations. Colleague is somebody that you work with. Acquaintance is somebody you know just in passing. There's an easier word. Um, oh, a flak gun mark too. Well, I mean, it's okay. That's a weapon. It's not my favorite, but uh, we can kill ships with that. Let's see, colleague. Is colleague the one you're thinking of? I don't know. Let's see, if I want to get that flak 2 online, I need to go 1, 2, and a power. Let's do it. All right, I do want power, but we might run into a store. We're in Henji's sector, so we're going to run into a store. So let's not spend all of our scrap. Grammar lessons with Rand. <laughs> All these guys are saying that I'm looking like a maniac. <laughs> Except they're off for some... Oh my god. Another glaive beam. <laughs> what? That, I got a free glaive beam last Thursday. Oh, I mean, this is great, but it makes me feel like all my other runs today, they're going to punish me because they're giving me a glaive beam. Jesus. Mate. Okay. Oh man, another glaive beam. Now it's flak plus glaive beam. So if I get pre-igniter... Oh my god. This is the second free glade beam I've gotten in the last two play sessions. This is insane. Five jumps. One, two, three. Um, alright, let's go. I'm, I might sell it. I don't really want the glade beam. <laughs> I don't want this thing. Secure it. Okay. I mean, some people love the glade beam. It's just too long. I mean... For this setup, since we're not in any hurry to kill the boss, might actually be okay, but I don't want it. <laughs> I just don't want that. I don't need two small bombs. Um, I mean, Flak 2 small bomb glade beam is actually kind of an insane 8 power weapon system. It's kind of insane. Double glade beam again. But I don't want to. I'm going to kill their crew with my boarding, awesome boarding crew. I'm kind of just going to hold on. I feel like I just want to hold on to this, what I have right now. Why don't I like the glade beam? I'll show you. See that charge time? 25 seconds? Without certain good defensive setups, that is a long time for enemies to get lots of shots off. On this ship, it kind of doesn't matter because you have cloaking and boarding. We're going to kill them. So that glade beam probably is never going to fire. But for a, ship, a lot of ships that rely on weapons, that 25 seconds is an eternity for them to get multiple volleys off and do damage to you, so that's why. It's good in certain situations. If you get pre-igniter, it's amazing. It's, I mean, it's probably the best weapon in the game if you get pre-igniter. Which, I guess I gotta check the store, because if they have, have pre-igniter, pre I have to flak to glade beam pre-igniter, because it's just, that's... All, I mean, that's probably even better than double glade beam with hacking, because you can get your first stuff shot off before waiting for the hacking to get through their shields, so... Low for Riot. What's up, Attila? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. So, last week, I I had the double glabium, but didn't get the pre-igniter. This week, I have flak 2 pre-igniter glabium. I just... Every single rest of my run today is going to destroy me. Because I'm going to do it. I mean, there's just... There's no, there's no option. I'm gonna get pre-ignited flak 2 glaive beam. This is insane. This is actually insane. Well, I don't need the small bomb anymore, so let's sell that. Um, there's nobody who's gonna have three shields. Well, we are going to sector four, so if I get... Um, it's gonna take me a lot of stuff to get this online, so I need power right now. I need level two hacking. All right, I can't tunnel vision too much on the weapon system because we have... Four-man teleporter right now. 
So... This, I don't even want... This is what happens when you don't want good weapons, when you don't need these insane weapon systems. It's, what, it's when they give them to you. I don't need it because I have freaking four-man teleporter. I, I have an insane setup already. I don't, I don't need this. <laughs> it's like, I feel like some rich person who just keeps getting gifted more stuff when there's poor people around the world who don't even have water. It's what I feel like right now. It's like, oh. Oh, you're rich? Here, you need more money. Oh my god. You're trying your first go into the darkest dungeon. Oh my god, pie boy. How many virgins have you sacrificed? Well, that's not enough virgins. <laughs> um, sup, Kenny? Long time no see? Oh, yeah. Um... I think I want to get one more dodge. And now we're going to save up to get power for this, for our weapon system, I guess, is what we're going for next. I mean, oh my god, if we got Zoltan's shield on top of this, this would be one of the most OP runs I've ever had. Flak 2 Glaive Beam pre-ignited with Zoltan's shield would be insane. Let's go for it, man. FTBL will be the most popular game up in this channel. Yeah. <laughs> It's strange, I don't know why, but apparently everybody goes to sleep listening to the dulcet sounds of my voice and FTL's music. I know, all that stuff by the end of Sector 3, and I usually don't have that good of luck. I mean, my runs at the end of the day yesterday were terrible, and now it's like I can't get any mediocre luck. It's either I get everything or they take everything away. There's no middle ground, FTL. Where's the middle ground? That's what I want to know. Holy crap, we just blew up something. Do you have to deal with Clone Bay? Okay, so you're going to go in there. You guys go in here. Cloak killed my... that killed my thing. Could hack his weapons or something, but nah. I think we're fine here. Oh, okay. Thank you for not at least starting a fire. What level clone bay do you have? These guys had freaking level three clone bay there. They had to be level three. That's how long that took. Jesus. Um, why don't I have that luck, Matan? Well, <laughs> like I said, I usually don't have this luck. Just play thousands of hours and one or two times you'll have this luck. Uh, what's up, Shogi? How are you doing, sir? I'd love you see, to see you play this War of Mine. I have played this War of Mine. Um, but once I beat it one time, I didn't feel like I needed to play it anymore. <laughs> it's just one of those games. Where once you beat it, you're like, okay, well, I've done, I've done everything. Let's play something else, I guess. Uh, you got stung by wasps mowing the yard over the weekend, and boy, do they itch. Stung 12 times. I would have stopped after being stung once. Why did you keep mowing the lawn? Holy crap. Uh, have you heard Neo Punch debut song? Neo, Neon Punch, Neon Punch. Is that a, that's gotta be... K-pop, I guess. All right. Um, power. We just slowly need to get our power going here so I can cloak, have all our systems online, have a flak I can fire, and then board. All right. We want empty jumps so we can get Zoltan's shield. Wasps are terrible creatures. Are they the ones that kill themselves when they sting, when they sting you? Nice. <laughs> Uh, boarding on an NG ship. You know, I, I almost feel bad about this because it's so... So easy. It's like beating up a child. Like, yeah, uh, They're just so weak. But it's so easy. So, you know... I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Beating up children. That's what, that's what you do here on the ranch stream. Beat up children. NG are... 
Banshees are basically children that you're beating up to take their popsicles. <laughs> Alright, 62 scrap. I want to get third shield soon. Um, uh, if I go there, I actually dive. Let's just go store and then this way. No, they just keep stinging. No bar. Bees are the ones who die. Okay. We need to quote that for reasons. <laughs> I could get another mantis. I don't really need another mantis. Zoltan Shield Bypass. Yes. That makes final phase of the boss easy and boarding Zoltan ships easy. So we're doing it. Beautiful. I have plenty of fuel. Okay, Zoltan Shield Bypass was really the only other thing we needed. If we get Zoltan Shield, it would be the most amazing thing ever. And this would probably be the most OP run we've ever had. Welcome, humans. Prepare to die. How did we not hit anything with that flak? Holy crap. Getting everybody max trained here. Just Weston. Cool. This is starting to shape up to be one of the most OP setups we've ever had. To have a pre-ignited flak 2 plus glaive beam with four-man boarding, hacking, and a pre-igniter with Zoltan shield bypass. It's like it's like a this this run is almost like a laundry list of all the th or a grocery list of all the things I like to get in my runs. Hey, what's up, Deluxe Minimal? How are you doing, sir? I kind of thought this might happen when I started out exhausted and not wanting to stream this morning. I thought, you know what? I'm probably going to have one of the best runs I've ever had today because that's what happens. I like don't want to stream or I'm super tired. You know, you don't want to go to work and then you like have the best thing ever happen to you at work. You know, it's kind of it's kind of the way it goes, I feel like. Any tips for the darkest dungeon? Um I would I would look at the um wiki. That would be my hip, my my hip, my tip. Look at the wiki because each one is different. Each darkest dungeon's got different things and they can give you tips on what's what to look out for. I could lose crew here. Let's not, let's not gamble today. We have some of our best stuff ever. No, not worth the gambling. Just get four grave robbers. There you go. Tired Rand is lucky Rand. <laughs> Apparently so. A human? Well, I don't want you, but all right. You have any training? No. Saran Crystal B last night took me four tries. Freaking auto scouts his old shields, man. Deluxe minimal. Some Chinese guy followed Rand. Oh yeah. That's right, that was yesterday, or not yesterday, last Thursday or Friday. It's kind of funny. There's a, a name I couldn't pronounce. Well, my shot's never hidden. I guess we'll auto fire for that human to get some training. Do I need to cloak? I might need to cloak at some point. Yeah, we'll cloak it. Okay, never mind. No, no cloaking necessary. Was that was? See, I didn't even recognize what language it was, but I guess maybe those were Chinese characters. The other day. Um, in before it's the N word in Chinese. <laughs> that would be terrible. Okay. This is my only shot at uh, Zoltan's shield, so it looks like we're not going to get everything we've ever wanted. If you had one shot to get everything you ever wanted, would you take it? Just let it slip. All right. I'll take this uh, event. They are in my heal bay. Welcome to the heal bay. I need Weston in here. You're in here, kid. Nobody else? Okay, good. Actually, I want Weston to be the only one in here. Weston, get in there. You need to kill. Okay, that is you. Good. You need to get your training maxed out. Cool. Thanks for coming on board and training my uh, training my guys and how to kill humans, humans. Appreciate that. A useless human? Okay, Attila. 
That's right. You haven't been here in a while, so I haven't done it. Oh, God. Two boarding things. In my heel bay again. All right. I will. I will. I'll get. I got you covered. Just give me a bit here, sir. You're Weston. You don't need training, so you can go in there. We're going to let Weston get all the kills here. Because he's the only one who's not max trained in fighting yet. Nice! <laughs> Those humans just got got me max and trained in uh, fighting. Beautiful. So I guess we did get something out of those jumps. We got West and trained in fighting. All right, useless human. You are Attila. Attila the useless. Not the Hun, the useless. All right, now we just need to get power. Executed with impunity. What difficulty am I playing? Yeah, I'm playing hard mode, no pause, uh, Matan. Hard mode, no pause is pretty much the only thing we play on now. Oh, I can't get my Glaive Beam online. Whoops. It's like, I just need to Glaive Beam this guy, but I can't do that. Okay, what I can do... Is cloak that. Teleport into a shield, because they can get back fast enough. As long as I... Man, if my teleporter gets bombed, I'm screwed here. So I gotta be really careful. I'm gonna actually hack his weapons to make sure we don't get bombed. Taking no chance with losing the crew. The reason this works is because uh, crystal dudes take half... Half damage. Frickin' hell. Um, half damage from... No oxygen. So that's the reason that works, in case anybody is not familiar with that. All right, now we just auto fire. Please, dead. Don't hit my weapons. Freaking hell! I hate this game. <sighs> two bombs, two shots in my weapons room. Seriously, game. All right, heal bay is fine. That's fine. I didn't turn that on, are you freaking kidding me? Come on, kid. Come on, me. Okay, good. Yeah, cloak the missiles. Please run out of missiles. How many freaking bombs do you have, man? Miss, 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 miss. Do that just to annoy him. Because you're annoying me, sir. Nice. We're dodging it. Um, oh, crap. I'm missing a lot of chat. Uh, what happened? Pfft, pausing him, all right? That's right. Pfft. Who does that? Noobs. Uh, Ale Master 2 in the stream. All right, use this human. Excellent. Nice. That weapon ladder is hysterical. I got another free Glaive Beam, Deluxe. Another free Glaive Beam. And then I immediately found... Immediately... Found... Weapon Free Igniter. It's actually insane. Yeah, we actually took a damage. I... I don't... How are we not... Even... Even with these little rooms, how is... A million flak shots not ever hitting this guy. Come on, game. Give me a break. Let me finish this damn fight. This fight is taking way too stinking long. Thank God. Um, did I play much PUBG? I played a little bit on stream. It's a PvP game, so I get super salty. But I did win, like, my fourth or fifth game. Yeah, and it was with a... What was it? What was our loadout? Uh, 4X... I forgot what the weapon loadout was. A scale of freshwater salt mine. How salty is ran at the moment? Uh, I'm, I'm like a little above freshwater, so I'm pretty pretty good. Freshwater with a pinch. There you go. 
This this run I've has been pretty insane. My RNG has been pretty insanely lucky, so right now I'm not too salty. I'm actually I'm more salty about the runs that are gonna happen because of how good my RNG has been. I'm more worried about future runs. Salt levels in future runs is what I'm worried about right now. Okay. I might actually die for a chance at um Zoltan Shield. With with cloaking, that's probably a worthwhile risk. Are you tuning your next run because you're gonna get shafted by RNG? <laughs> Great AO Master. Great. Uh yep, yeah, have all my missiles. Okay, I do have a chance at it, so I'm doing it. We're going for this we're hoping this is Zoltan Quest, if not. Ah, oh, it's a pulsar. It's not freaking hell. Oh, this sucks. Okay. All right. Well, we just kill this crew so fast it doesn't matter. So, there's the strength of. Four man boarding. The counter to Pulsar is four man board boarding. So, <laughs> luckily, we have the counter. And them not having uh, a beam drone. Uh, me and my brother, super try hard duos, make top 1000 last season. Nice, Pie Boy. That's awesome. I can't not try hard at games. So, on games that when you try hard but you still lose every time like PUBG and um, uh, what's that other one? Rainbow Six Siege. I just can't. Can't do it. Squad games, you're like half of the movies always dying first. I like how you killed the crew before the backing arrived and just kept going past the ship. Oh, before the hacking. Oh, did it? I didn't see that. I don't, I didn't notice where the hacking went. Okay, alright. Well, I'm gonna fire his weapons. And I'm going to hack his weapons, and I'm going to board him, and then cloak his big giant thing here. Didn't get the hack off in time. He hit my cloaking. That's terrible. All right, I need to get my guys back. Yes, we dodged it. Thank God. My hacking, that's fine. I just need to get out. Okay, we're good. All right, not too bad of a dive. We took like two shots or something. We play good strap, but have some rough rotations in the circle. We're super passive. Okay. See, that's that was the other reason I couldn't play PUBG a whole lot. Because if you play, like, I feel like the best way to play is to play passive and camp. And that's like super boring. So I get, <laughs> I get pretty bored playing that strat. Okay. But I feel like that's the best way to play if you want to, you know, actually win. Try hard and win. I almost wonder what... I've, I've seen that there are PUBG tournaments on Twitch. I almost wonder how those tournaments go if, like, everybody's just in houses waiting for everybody else's or what. Everybody else's. They're just waiting for everybody else. I don't have anything to sell. I need to get level 2 uh, uh, O2 for here. So I'm going to just check the store. Shouldn't I be your pilot? Your main repairman has to walk the whole ship. Um, yeah, problem is um, you don't have any training in piloting. If I get another crew who's already trained in piloting, I'll put them there. But no. All right, that's the last system we can even get. All right. So there we go. Now I can't get the level 202, which is kind of bad. But I can counter hacking. I need to get level 2 hacking and level 202. Those are the next two things I need to get. Backup battery's huge, though. It's funny if you're playing just for fun a lot for and not for winning, like full squad of crossbows or Nagants with silence. I don't know what that is. You actually kill level 3 heal guy with a crossbow? <laughs> Better PUBG is a different game because half the server doesn't just hot drop for the sake of it. Ah, okay. I don't ever hot drop. Like, I try to always go someplace nobody else is. So I don't understand why people would hot drop strat. Sounds like a terrible idea. Right, 
we're just gonna let everybody in here and cloak the missile. Auto fire at their weapons. I don't think there's any crew setup that actually beats my four man boarding setup. Four mantis would be the only one they'd have to all be maxed level fighting, I feel like. Nice. He still got to fire that missile? Oh, that's some bullshit. <laughs> the fight is over and that missile went off after the fight was over. Thank God for Cloak. Although I only have 92% dodge because I don't have an engine trained or fully trained pilot yet. You know what? I also need to get fourth weapon so I can use Glaive Beam with hacking. Nagant is revolver. Only revolver in the world you could use a silencer on. Oh, okay. Rand, why don't you repair your ship's hull to the max when you go to stores? In the end, you would have to fully repair it anyway, right? No, there's a very specific reason. I always keep it at minus 10 health. And that is that there are a number of events that actually give you free repairs. So if you repair to full in a store, you are actually wasting scrap. If you happen to run in those, into those um, events. So, I specifically leave my hull at minus 10. So anytime I get that event, I get as, as, as efficient as I can possibly be. Especially on hard mode, every scrap counts. And so, every bit of efficiency you can squeeze out of your run, you need to. We drop for cars and drive away from people to get looted. Texas guy should know all about guns. <laughs> Dropping for cars. Now, that's... I never thought of that. That's a really good... How do you know where the cars are, though? Do you, like, while other people are looting, just look for a car and get out and then go to some place that's not along the drop path or something? That's some planning ahead. Well, yeah, that's what you have to do on <laughs> hardest difficulty of this game. Okay. All right, we'll just teleport away here. Should be fine. Do this. Hope I don't have cloaking. I'm cloak, so make sure we get our shields up here. What level tele or mind control do you have, sir? Wow, you have a lot of crew. Come back. Let's heal. Let's not chance it. Finish them. Poke that next shot. Man, how much crew do they have? They had like six crew or something. Something crazy. So crazy. I need to kill that mind control though. So they don't mind control my guys over here. Okay, you guys go over there. That should shift you over there. Nice. Okay. Uh, hey, free stuff. Nice double reward. I like it. Um, cars have their own spawn place. Oh, uh, okay. Watch for spawns each time we play and have good spots to go. So you, you learn the spawns of where the cars are. Interesting. Cool. I never thought about that before. Just like I guess Matan's never thought of um, leaving your hole at 10 minus 10. You learn something the more you play a game. That's pretty cool. Um, Rand, when you move that guy between the teleporter and med bay, does it heal that guy too? Yes. So, here, let's, we'll show you how this works. The only way to heal more than th the number of people that can fit in your med bay is to have them run through the med bay. So this guy is the only guy that's hurt. You could actually heal up to seven people in a med bay. So if I have all four people here, it kind of is a little funky because different races move slightly different speeds. However, you can see... Uh, well, I have to turn the med bay on. You can see that my crystal guy who's running through... Okay, the stupid Zoltan is messing up the power. <laughs> stupid Zoltan. Oh, God. Okay, anyway. Move this guy back and forth. He's getting healed. So you can actually heal up to seven people at a time if you, like, min-max it. Normally, you, there's not many times when you need to get that much at healing all at the same time, but yeah. Open door and try it. What? There's some place on the map that people rarely go despite good loot. Oh, nice. Okay, so um, I got level two 
Hacking. I need to start getting my weapons and I need power. So let's start working our way up on that. So now I can get the glaive beam online if I want to use it for some reason. Suffocate them so they lose their OHP. Oh, okay. Well, I think we proved our point. <laughs> I don't think we need to suffocate our people to prove our point. All right, we're going to kill their weapons here. Just to make sure we take no damage. We'll play this super smart. Just make it so that it's not possible for us to take damage. All right, I have clone bay. So what we're going to do is we're going to move all into the shield room except for you, who's going to go in there. Uh, this is not going to work. Okay. There we go. That works. Although I think there might be a guy in there repairing that right now. Should stop once we kill any of these dudes, though. There we go. Perfect. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, and he's engine trained. Okay. Okay. Um... Let's see here. Well, I kind of... How close are you to engine train? You're actually getting pretty close. So I think what I'm going to do is leave one of my crystal guys over for shields. All right, you have the most shield training, although you need to be healed first. Um, clone bay closet isn't so bad, but med bay closet is a big hurdle, yeah. Is lockdown time-based or HP-based? It's time-based. They can never get through it. No matter how long you... The AI or you hits the um, crystal lockdown, they'll never get through. It's an effort in futility. So that's why if you time it, use one lockdown, wait till it's about to run out, use the next one. You can, you can keep them locked out of their room essentially forever. So... I mean, if you had four crystal guys and rotated enough, I wonder if you could keep them out forever. I don't know if uh, the cooldowns work for that or not. Let's get one more power. All right, now it's about saving up for Glaive Beam, which is 165, 215 scrap, something like that. Let's make a ship that looks like a fossilized poop. <laughs> Pretty sure we had a ship that looked like poop one time the Desert Eagle made. It's supposed to be a cloud, but it was looked like gray poop. <laughs> Trying to disable your doors. Okay, that's fine. Big giant missile. Doesn't have boarding. He has heal bay. All right, four guys in. Why did... Crap. I forgot I had this guy in here. Damn it. Ah, oh, frickin' hell. Okay. Right, let's heal up here. No, I did not select two dudes, man. I swear I'm selecting one guy a lot of the times, and I selected two dudes. Alright, this missile has a long enough charge time, we should be fine. Nice. Okay, cool. I did not do that optimally. I screwed up a little bit there because I forgot that I moved this guy in here. So F2 and F3 are my... Uh, guys, I need to lock down. <laughs> I locked down him in. Nobody's getting in the shield room. Not the doors. <laughs> this crystal one definitely is what? What's up, dude? Hey, what's up, Crumb Shot? How are you doing, my friend? Okay. I've already seen one store. Let's get one more value point weapons, and we're just going to slowly get our weapons up. I mean, I might... I could probably kill the boss with my current setup, I'll be honest with you. This is pretty stinking OP right now. Intruder's on board. He's got mind control. He's going to hack my medical unit. I need to counter that. 
Oh, Jesus. Freaking mind control. This is why I actually like to get mind control on boarding ships, even though a lot of people are like, don't get mind control, it's a waste. I like to get it because of the damn counter. I actually hate getting mind controlled when my when my win condition or favorite way to kill them is to kill their crew. Because it's very possible to lose crew. See if I can actually hit their mind control would be the best. Yes! There we go. Holy crap, you have a lot of crew. Holy crap, a cripple. Holy crap, crapple. Beautiful. Uh, is this a normal run or a trolling suggestion from chat? No, this is... Um, how to win FTL runs. Look at the title. <laughs> we're not doing. Uh, we're not doing crazy, ridiculous, trying to get killed runs right now. Crew killing is so much fun, especially with a fire beam. Did someone say fire? My control isn't that bad. Very useful for the boss. Well, uh, the the reason some people and it's very experienced players. They don't say mind control is bad. They say I shouldn't get it with certain setups. And it's because this mind control, I mean, hacking, cloaking, teleporter is so insanely good. And it's like, oh, don't get that. Get hacking. It's like they always get hacking. It's like they, apparently the setup for some people. Always, you, you never don't get hacking, basically. <laughs> Dang, killed the heal there, nice. How to win, just get a free glade beam, yeah. <laughs> that's my win strategy. Just get a free glade beam. You know, if I win this run, that means that's the only way we've won these last two runs. Just get a free glade beam. Apparently that's the only way I can get good, is getting free stuff. Hey, what's up, Emilio-san? Stop looking at stream runner titles. It went all foreign to you. Okay. Some people want to do the same thing all the time and get boring. You just tried a pesto sauce. Was it good? I made um, fettuccine, chicken fettuccine alfredo last Thursday, and I'm about halfway through it. <laughs> it's going to take me forever to finish it. Okay. Wasn't good. Okay. That face makes me think you didn't enjoy it very much, Kenny. What do I even want? I mean, is there anything else I even need from the stores? I feel like I don't... I feel like there's no even reason to go to any more stores. I have freaking pre-ignited Flak 2 Glade Beam. I just need to get scrap. I guess I just need to make sure I don't die. I stay healed and I'm fine. Let's get one more dodge. So we have max out dodge when we cloak. And now it's all about getting this Glade Beam online, which is 165 scrap. So... Too good. It was on sale for like 0.5 American rubles. Interesting. Um, time travel to 1960s to say FTL runs no pause hard mode working through beast ships. Orange Jesus, please be kind. It's a stabbing right there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Not quite sure what that means, but all right. That's a glade. I mean, that's a Vulcan. Too bad for you don't get to use the Vulcan. <laughs> Only problem with this slow weapon setup is I'm never going to get weapons training. Just is too slow. I might get to level 1's weapon training at some point. <laughs> you think he is sleeping? He is speaking from his sleep. <laughs> sleep? Sleep Twitch chatting. That might be a new, um, a new undiagnosed disease there. 
Okay, and you controlled Uncharted Nebula. The reason I'm thinking about Uncharted Nebula is because... If I go here, and this is Sector 7 Abandoned, that is actually the scariest sector for us. Because um, Abandoned Sector is our worst nightmare for boarding. <sighs> Although, I'm hoping by the end of this sector I would get my glaive beam online and pre-ignited glaive beam plus hacking would be fine so I'm gonna go here gotta go nebula now I'm going for it. I'm going for the NG because we'll have stores to sell the beam drone and whatever other free stuff we get and NG sectors are just so good for getting free stuff so I mean look first jump free free friggin drone part we're gonna chance the sector 7 abandoned for Kenny this is for Kenny I'm not chanting my crew though. Second giant alien spiders. Look at that. The sober demon takes over if I don't give this body booze. <laughs> Alright. I could get clone bay, but I don't think I want to spend the scrap on that when we are really, really freaking close. Ten scrap away from Glaive Beam Flak 2 pre ignited. So. You get the glaive beam online, you'll be set. Yeah. Yes, we will. I uh, should have cloaked that slightly sooner. Damn. All right. Frickin' hell. All right, when they come back in here, and when they come back in here, we will lock them down. You guys ever going to fight me or what? You know what I could do? <laughs> Kill you. Yeah, okay. That didn't work quite as well as hoping, but it's fine. Here we go. Stick with us. We'll be your friends. See, even our guys can't get out of the room whenever the crystal lockdown's up. Even with four fully trained dudes, two of them being Mantis. Uh, send a bunch of level zero noobs on a level five quest to die. One lives, so you call this person, oh my god, Kenny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't need to go cloaking. Um, I mean, uh, clone bay. Clone bay is safety net. If I lose crew, or if I found reconstructed teleport, reconstructed teleport plus clone bay is actually my favorite boarding setup because you basically always have a full, full health boarding crew. But um, don't need it as long as I don't miss micro, which is a very real possibility. I have done many times. I shouldn't lose crew. The worst is if I accidentally kill a ship with my crew on it, and then I lose all four of my boarding crew, and I'm sad. Okay, here we go. I now have frickin' Flak 2 Glaive Beam pre-ignited. Get wrecked, enemies. Alright, we can back up battery. Uh, now I just need to get my hacking online, and there's, not, there's literally not a ship in the galaxy that I can't just destroy, I feel like. Light intruders on board. All right, welcome to my ship, Engies. Thank you for hosting the stream. Hey, toothpick! Thank you for the host, my friend. Appreciate that. All right, you guys go help finish these guys off before we go board. Okay. Well, they have the missile online. That kind of sucks. It's fine. Everybody in here. Get locked in here. Hook that. All right. Let you guys in. That should be the last crew. And that should be GG on this fight. 
Beautiful. Oh, double rewards again. Like it. Okay. All right, had to do a little micro there, but we're good. Combine this with Elite, it would be a great game. Elite Dangerous? Fighting the boss of the Darkest Dungeon. All right, good luck. An actual host. <laughs> An actual more than one person host. Well, I'm probably on auto host for Toothpick Vic because uh, I think we auto host each other. Doodly doo -de doo -de doo doo. Okay, let's see. We just need power. Get power and we're good. Is there any reason to go to the store? I'm trying to think. I mean, automate a reloader. I could sell the beam drone. Automate a reloader would be not bad. Five. Okay, yeah, we can go this way. Elite 1, Elite 2, not dangerous. That's a hot mess. I like Elite Dan Oh, I played Elite Dangerous for a while. Hey, Tolt Smasher Laser would have been more useful earlier in the run. Actually, that's where I met Attila was uh, when I streamed. My first big giant host was actually while I was playing Elite Dangerous, which is kind of crazy. Holy crap, I almost killed them. Um, I actually did a little too much damage. I don't want to board them now. Because if I accidentally kill a system, I kill my entire crew. So, whoops. <laughs> accidentally too strong, man. First world FTL elf problems. I accidentally killed my enemies too fast. Accidentally too strong. You miss elite sometimes? Sometimes, I mean... I like Elite, it's just, it's so like, I mean, you're basically, it's an entire universe or galaxy you're exploring that I felt a little insignificant, <laughs> and uh, like it took forever to do anything. And what I had the most fun doing was mining, and when you're streaming and mining, I feel like I'm not doing anything fun, so, I don't know. Oh, for five, three, whole damage, great. That's fine, we got a store, we can repair it. Bad 80s controls for dangerous. 80s controls for dangerous. What? Lead to Frontier and First Encounters for a bit of a plot. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, and I'm not knocking Elite Dangerous. I love the game. It's just uh, it's one I couldn't, like, play forever. Back up DNA Bank with Clone Bay. I mean... I don't, I don't need anything. <laughs> All I need is, like, a automated reloader. I get Force Shield soon. Let's get our level 3 hacking power and I literally do have everything I need uh, one more power now I'm if I can get four shield I mean I have a whole other sec I cannot believe how overpowered our ship is right now mining bitcoins what okay uh, that's actually a pretty good deal right now we'll take that is the whole keyboard to do anything mouse controls and shift to control well I used a uh, joystick for uh, elite dangerous Completely different game now. So many improvements. New AI too. You'd have to relearn the whole thing. Yeah. Well, they did the whole expansion release where you can land on planets, which I thought was cool, but... Um, never played it while that was available. Oh! Okay, I guess I don't have to fight the ship. Free stuff. You are getting wrecked in my game. <laughs> I'm the jester in your game, right? Well, learn, learn to get lucky, pie boy. God. Okay. You're pilot trained, but so is this fairy already. Uh, Attila, sorry, you're useless. Get out. Get out. Useless human. Too useless. All right. Attila served his purpose. He got sent out to airlock. Rip. <laughs> okay, Sector 7 abandoned. Okay, well, I bet I, I guess we're about to test to see if my most OP ship ever can actually handed, handle um, Sector 7 abandoned, boys. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Pre-ignited flak 2 glaive beam. He's got hacking. Alright, we're gonna hack his... 
piloting or shield? Let's hack his shields. Hope he doesn't hack my weapons. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I should be able to still one-shot these guys. I mean, it's a freaking pragmatic glaive beam. <laughs> All right. We still could get wrecked in this sector. It's, it's definitely a possibility. Um, I need 42 more scrap, and I can have four shield online. All right. What we're afraid of is Lanius Bombers. Lanius Bombers are the strongest ships in the game. Okay. <laughs> uh, Pre-ignited pre -ignited glaive beam. Oh my god. Frontier had perfect controls. A lot of eye there. All hail the glaive beam. Well, pre-ignited with flak, yeah. Yeah, all hail. Seven drone parts leaves me with six. That's a terrible deal, actually. Not gonna take it. Well, the first encounters had a bit of a plot. You were hoping it would carry on for dangerous. I hailed the platform. And it's a bomber with mind control. Okay. Don't kill your own crew, please. Okay. This is pretty bad, actually. Okay, big giant missile. Okay. Oh, god damn it. He hit my weapon right as the glaive beam fired. Bullshit. Absolute bullshit. Right as my glaive beam fired. did that way early. God damn it. Okay. Ugh. Friggin' hell, man. Two missiles hit. Two missiles in my heel, in my weapons room. As the glaive. That right there, that right there is why glaive beam is terrible. Because of that 25 second charge time, anything hit, hits your weapons room, you're screwed. You have to wait another goddamn 25 seconds to fire again. Well, that right there is why Glade Beam is actually not a good weapon. But, all right, let's get um, Force Shield here. <clears throat> it's good with Pre-Igniter. Any other thing, it's just it's too long of a charge time, man. Your luck seems to have run out. Let's get three reloaders, I know, right? Giant missile, okay. Um... Try to contact. Okay. That's right. You die, sir. You freaking die. Got tetanus? Just use the doors. What? Oh, Rand in your game got tetanus. I got you. All right, I'm actually afraid of dying now. I'm actually afraid of dying. Let me get level two cloaking so I have like a value point there. And I can use level two cloaking if I need to just cloak and run away. Peace and hugs save the Federation from racist rant. <laughs> Shooters on board. Okay. Well, they're just stupid humans. <laughs> so it's fine. All right, stupid humans. We're pretty much done with boarding, I'm thinking. Except for the boss. So it might be worth moving these guys into a different rooms so that mind control doesn't wreck us so much. Where we'd like almost one shot one of our own dudes because we're all fully trained. Kung Fu Pandas here. He's got a starting point in Civ 5 with six jewel tiles. Holy crap. I mean, 
Okay, we got a store. Do I have anything to sell? I don't have anything to sell. That would be a dive. Well, let's just go here to repair. Just to just to play it safe. Damn it, and there's a reloader I can't afford. Man! When I had like 200 something scrap going to a store, I had the option for terrible uh, augments. Don't have any scrap. Here's a reloader you can't afford. Well, it's fine. It's fine. Hey, what's up, Ogre? How are you doing, my friend? I've used up all my good RNG, so. Um, all right, we got one extra missile and drone part. It's fine. What did I want to get next? Fuel bay value point or something? We don't really need anything. We could get the last point in weapon power to give us a little value point here. Freaking mind control, giant missile cloaking. Jesus, these guys are so OP. Alright, we're only cloaking the missile. Oh, Jesus. Level 3. Cloaking 2. Crap. I didn't cloak the missile. All right, we took the big giant goddamn missile because forty-two percent equals zero. But at least we killed him in our first volley. <laughs> goddamn Lanius, Lanius borders is probably one of the scariest things in the game, unless you have Lanius borders to fight them. So, and we do not. So. Try suffocating the borders. Yeah, great. Time to fix my NGB, NGB run. How's my run going? Ogre, It's this is actually one of the most OP runs I've had in a long time. Wow. Holy crap, those diamonds. So you're just going to make a ton of gold in your game, huh, Kenny? That's pretty awesome. I Here, I'll show you how my run's going. Flak 2, Glade Beam, Preigniter. That's how my run's going. It's pretty insane. A little low on health, so it's a little scary. But, uh, I can't complain. Can't really complain. I could complain. It'd be kind of troll of me to complain. Alright, um... Do I want to teleport here? Yes. His clone bay is back up. How the hell is your clone bay back up? Don't die, sir. Now he's dead. Okay. Ooh, I almost lost crew there. He must have had a repair drone. It's the only way I could think of he was able to get his clone bay up that fast. Uh, you're going to take a Pantheon for plus two faith per each diamonds tile. Holy crap. Okay, nice. I'm going to go buy Breach 2 for flagship. You have 344 bombs. <laughs> How do you have 300... What? You mean 34 bombs? 344 bombs is... Hacking, sir. 34, okay. Gotta have faith. Hey, you gotta have faith, faith, faith. Oh, rip George Michael. Alright, 109 scrap. I can go exit, and then store, and then dive. And that's actually probably worth because I can heal. So let's do that. 344 would be OP. That's, that's playing a modded ship like we often do here. Attack the rebels. Kill your missiles at least. Then 
kill all your humans. Should be fine here. Um, chance of damage, we'll take it. Ooh, that 30 scrap, baby. 30 extra scrap. Man, I love stealing from civilians. God, I love fighting babies and stealing from civilians, man. That's what we've learned in FTL day. How to how to beat up babies and steal from civilians. With current five shot volley, it may be better to use breach on first phase. I'm reduced to three shots. Um, what are you talking about? Are you talking about my thing? No, on the first phase of the boss, I am uh, killing all his crew and never getting hit by a missile because I have cloaking and cloaking teleporter and uh, hacking. So the loaf would have 344 ha uh, rockets. Hashtag remember the loaf. You're the only one who always wants me to play that ship. Until. Should make videos called Rand's recommendations and review games and give them a score. Rand is a role model for everyone. <laughs> um. I guess I could do something like that. I mean, I have played the same game, games over and over, so I don't know how valuable my recommendations would be. Be like the five games I play. But, yeah, I guess I could do some sort of game reviews. I don't understand why you marked your channel as Mature Effing Baby Stealer. <laughs> A role model to become bald. You know, if there's anything I could teach you guys, it's about male pattern baldness. Do I care about any of this stuff? Repair arms is actually not terrible. Without a... You know what? I think I'm going to get repair arm. Without a repair drone, it's the only way to get repairs at the end of each boss uh, phase. So it's definitely worth... Okay, let's get value points. There. Sensors. Teleporter. And if I can get a value point in... Weapons, that's the last thing I need, because power-wise, we're good. I back up battery of my hacking, and we're good, so... All right, time to dive. What do I think about Stronghold? It's a great game for the 1940s, or whatever it came out. Ha-ha, <laughs> zing! didn't one shot that guy I'm gonna take that damage freaking hell man annoying see with pre igniter to get a second shot off it takes a freaking year and a half oh, so slow a uh, little known fact Ryan is bald because he pulled all his hair out while playing FTL that was from PvP FPS games. <laughs> you like Stronghold? I do too. It's a fun game. But I had to troll Kenny because he's the one who made me play Stronghold. <laughs> I had to troll Kenny. It's required because Kenny trolls me. I mean, I like FTL, but I say I hate it all the time. So you can't can't take anything I say seriously. Alright, 18 scrap. Repair station. And then probably a dive. That's you. <laughs> yep. Required trolling. That's Kenny. They're, gonna, they're actually going to repair the clone baby because I can't stop them from doing it. Alright, we'll eventually kill them. Hopefully. Goddamn anti-personnel drone is healing while we fight them. Holy crap. Can I get in there before he repairs that? Damn it, I can't. God damn it. 
Trying to get a crew kill. So annoying. There we go. Now we got it. Beautiful. Only 55 scrap from that, huh? Uh, did the anti-personnel drone just appear in the clone bay? Uh, no, he didn't appear. He, uh... He moved from the drone part, drone bay to there. There was a, there was a um, lockdown blocking him, but he got through after it went away. I believe is what happened. It was locked at the time. No, I think what happened was he was in there already. I locked him in, and when somebody got into some other room, he just eventually. Instead of trying to get through it, started fighting for some reason. I don't know exactly how it happened, but I'm I'm 98% sure he was already in that room. I think we killed the guy that we were fighting, and that allowed him to stay there and fight is what happened. Um, is there anything I want to sell? No. I think we have all we need. Hey, we don't even dive. That's great. We can get value point and weapons. And I have literally everything I could ever ask for. Literally. You're actually salty about it. <laughs> You're actually salty. Wow, something that somebody in chat is salty about in the game that I'm not salty about. It's amazing. Alright, this should keep him... Okay, that didn't work. Let's go in here. There we go. Cloak that. Damn it, I wanted to cloak the missile. I need you to go heal just to make sure you don't die. I want to hack the weapons. Okay, his thing is offline anyway. Uh, you don't have a human pilot due to a certain airlock incident. <laughs> it was an accident. What can I say? Holy 125 scrap reward right there. An unfortunate incident involving an airlock and a mantis caused my human to die. Sometimes you get mad, just gotta vent. <laughs> You're humans. Yeah, yeah, totally. Totally. Wow, we even have a repair next to the base. I'm probably gonna get max door. Oh, I don't even need max doors. I guess it gets the uh, boarding drone. Max doors will be vaguely useful. And this is a fight. I can just board and kill all of them and lock them in. Go. Don't even you need to attack them, but I'm going to to get training on my weapons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire this to do no damage again for weapon training. Let's hold off on finishing them so I get one more flak shot off. There we go. How close are you to weapons training? Nowhere near. Okay. Great. Seems legit. Max doors, doors OP. Max doors guarantees a win. I feel like I've heard that from five different people in chat before. So. Most useless training. <laughs> All right. Um... I guess I'll go there so I can get the repair stage afterwards. I could go one, two, three. But just in case I need to jump away, let's not do that. All right. Max doors. One more power so that way I can have level two heal, uh, teleporter online. Wow. What a luxury amount of scrap I have right now. This is the luxury. This is first class run right here. Okay. So our plan is... We're going to be do our OP strat of hacking. The only thing that we need to not get hacked in this case is piloting our engines. If we get anything else hacked, shields, piloting our engines. Weapons hack is even fine here because we're just going to slowly kill them. So, more dodge. Um, it is a possibility, but I didn't have the enough scrap to get that plus power. So, all right. 
Weapons hack, usually I hate it. This is actually one of the few times when I'm fine with it. Actually, I just does have a small chance of getting through with triple lasers because we dodged nothing with 45% dodge. Thank you, though. We got that dodge, though. Okay, we're going to cloak the next missile. Bring you guys home and heal you. Okay. Okay, do we want to send... Which guys do we want to send in there? I think we send... Just send the Mantids in there. Right, cloak the next missile. Do, 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 do. Cloak that. Hack the next one. I think they're all maxed trained in there, so we're going to bring these guys back out to heal them just to make sure. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five, six more guys to kill. Go. Let's get these guys healed. Wow, I can... The only way we take damage is if all six of these shots hit in a row. So it's pretty rare for that to happen. The ions to all hit, so we only have two shields and then all three laser shots to hit. So it's pretty rare for that to actually happen. Oh, did they actually kill the missiles too? Ah, not quite. Okay, three more guys to kill after these dudes. This is a slow way to do this, but my god, is isn't an effective way to do this. My god. Okay. I'm gonna make sure I don't lose my guys here. Bring them back a little early. Pretty rare for a broken ion weapon to hit. Oh, <laughs> well, it, it did. It did actually hit earlier. It did hit. The first three shots hit before we broke it. So, so now it is impossible. <laughs> you make a good point, though, Master Procrastinator. You make a good point. Damn it, he got out before. <laughs> yeah, well, we kill the missiles now. He's only got one guy left. Even if TL isn't that BS yet. <laughs> All right, no more missiles. So I can get over there. Um, I'm going to wait till after we kill this last human, though. Here, can we just fight you now? You want to fight me? Let's do it this way. Oh, there we go. Have you tank. Okay, now we can get over there. Oh, crap. Oh, frickin' hell. How did he... Yeah, that's why we fight him in this room, so we can't heal. Damn it. There we go. Now we got him. There it is. Okay. You guys teleport in there. So he stops hacking our weapons. Now we can slowly kill them. That's in Super Advanced Edition. Ha ha ha. Super Advanced Trolley Edition 3000. Let's see if I can kill their cloaking, I guess. A 
Of course, of course I would time that perfectly to uh, shoot right when he cloaks. Way to go me. Way to suck at this game. That's enough. You've done enough. <laughs> okay. Beautiful phase one. Kill all this crew but one. Take no damage. And just wreck him. I mean, teleporter... Uh, cloaking hacking is just ridiculously OP. It's just ridiculous. Um, also, hi, I'm new, but I've watched you a lot on YouTube. Well, welcome, Master Procrastinator. I'm glad to have you join us, and uh, we've definitely been having some lots of fun with our our uh, our YouTube runs and all the people have joined us from YouTube. Well, I might as well take the repair because it's probably going to get taken over anyway. So we'll just get the free scrap. We have repair arm, so whatever scrap we get gives us extra scrap. But yeah, welcome to the stream. We've had lots of folks join us from YouTube. It's been awesome. All right, so I really don't have anything else. I mean, maybe I will get an extra dodge for the final phase uh, with scrap. So, uh, okay, what we're going to do, I'm going to ignore the drone that's going to board me. I'm going to send you guys over here. I'm going to ignore, especially since he's in sensors. I'm going to use level 2 cloaking here to make sure this lasts long enough. There we go. And again, I think he's just completely disabled. I do have to worry about the drone phase. I have four shields. Hopefully it's enough. Four shields and 45% dodge. I mean, should be enough. Patrolololi FTL. <laughs> oh, it's not a one shot. This is no double glaive beam run. I will say that for this run. It's no double glaive beam. Victory cooking incoming. It's great. You're from YouTube? I'm from California. So, that's where I grew up. All these people who are from YouTube. Tralalalalali FTL should be the motto of the game. I believe that's um, the official title of the game. Tralalalalali FTL. You know what? I don't have is mind control. So let's split our guys up just a little bit, and then whoever doesn't get mind controlled get sent over to kill their missiles and stuff. Okay. I will follow them just in case we need to run away. No reason not to do that. Keep our heal bay online, I guess. We have um, Zoltan shield bypass so we can still get over there. FPTL prepares to cut ran. Yeah, probably so. Okay, great. You can hit my engines. Why the hell not? I'm going to send you guys into the mind control. Hey, we even one-shot... <laughs> we even one-shot his uh, thing. His uh, Zoltan shield. He even one-shot his uh, Zoltan shield. That's amazing. This is kind of insane how well this run has gone. Actually insane. <laughs> Look at the ship. He's like completely disabled. I almost feel a little bad for him, really. A little bad for the guy. <laughs> GG cookie time, boys. GG. Pre-ignited flak to glaive beam. And I got both those weapons for free. That is insane. 
I'm from Derby. Where's YouTube? <laughs> um, oh, thank you for the 100 bits, my friend. Appreciate that. <laughs> Poor flagship. Everybody, F, F in the chat for respects. Press F for respects for the flagship, because my god. So what do we learn from this run? Well, if you get a free flak 2, a free glade beam, and then a pre-igniter in the store right after that, on a ship that is already insanely OP because crystal boarding is insanely OP, then you have a pretty good run. So, uh... <laughs> Honestly, though, this ship is super strong. Um, early, early crystal boarding is really strong. If you get, like, one or two crew, we got an early mantis for free. We got we got some early crew. Getting early crew on the ship is actually very good, so we got that. We got our shields quickly. I mean, our sec by the end of sector one, we had small bomb, level two shields, and a free crew. That's a great start. So, um, I will say this means probably the rest of my runs are going to go horribly today. But let's check out our score: fifty-seven thirty-one. I was actually hoping for a little higher with how insane that run was, but I guess there are a few ships I couldn't kill at the beginning of the run because of uh, no way to get through Zoltan shields and stuff. But that's my second highest score on that ship. Hold on, that reference? Nice. Well, that was a great run. That was, I mean, super smooth. I mean, our, our Stealth Beetle run last week and this run, I mean, I couldn't ask for a better run. So, by the way, if there's anybody new to the stream, please with the follow. We play FTL every Monday and Thursday. Um, we're going to try another run after this on a ship 